Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Batcap, the TF2 news and recap show with highlights taken from casts on TeamFortress.tv. This is episode 67 and we'll be running through the news, match results, and highlights from June 10th to the 17th. Lots in the way of community news this week. A Czech LAN, Summer Skillzone Reunion 2017, was announced. Kevin is Pwn hosted an open meeting discussing the future of newbie mixes. The TF2 team made a blog post about the jungle theme. Another invite team picked up a sponsor. NA got a face hit cup of their own. We got the official announcement of the I-61 tournament including prize pool details. And lastly, South America finally got some love with a face hit hub of their own. Let me Skillzone Strass, or Summer Skillzone Reunion for us English speakers with poor grasps of other languages, is the successor to LAN Malkov, a previous Czech LAN. The event will be held on June 24th at the Skillzone Gaming Club in Prague. There will be four teams participating in a 6v6 tournament and 16 participants in an MGE tournament. The entire event will be streamed on twitch.tv slash tf2mid. Kevin is Pwn has lived up to his name once again. He recently hosted an open meeting in Mumble to discuss the future of newbie mixes, including their new organizational structure, coaching, and recruitment. If you missed out on the meeting live, you can listen to the VOD on Kevin's own YouTube channel. Valve has recently given us an update on the upcoming jungle update via a blog post. They urged content creators to post their jungle-themed creations to the workshop, even if they are not yet completely finished. Valve did, though, assure us that there is still time to submit, which indicates that there is still even more waiting before the update drops. First Faint, then Fable, and now Lunatic. Esports orgs are returning to invite TF2, with Whale Esports being the newest recipient of a sponsor. Kev, Boar, Speedy, Sai, Moy, and Tino will don the white and blue of Lunatic for Season 25. Remember that EU Face It Cup which was announced last week? Well, now NA can have fun of their own with the TFTV NA Weekly Series No. 2 powered by Faceit. Sign-ups are open now and will close on June 24th, the same day as the tournament. However, though it is in NA, the cup will be played by ETF2L rules. Maps will be played with a 30-minute time limit and a win difference of 5 rounds. So grab yourself a team or sign up solo for a chance at 10,000 Faceit points. Last week, Multiplay confirmed that a TF2 tournament would be at I-61, but this week we got the full scoop on the event. Teams will be either placed in the Pro or Intermediate bracket depending on their skill. Multiplay also has TF2 listed under their headline tier of events. This means that games will be featured on the mainstream and the finals will be played out on the BYOC stage. The current prize pool is £5,000. This is the same starting point as it was last year before other sponsors added to the total. Check TeamFortress.tv if you are interested in attending the event, as there are numerous threads with information about seating and hotels. For our final bit of news, we have an announcement for the Central American TF2 community. A beta hub has been set up for Central American players through Faceit's new system. The hub is called Mixes Slash, and we will include the invite link in the description. Now, on to match results, starting with ESEA. After upsetting EVL Gaming in their season opener, Faint Gaming took home another W, this time 5-3 over Hibbleton on process. Here's a fun stat, both teams had 92 kills and 92 deaths total over the course of the map. However, some things cannot last and Faint Gaming's undefeated streak was ended by No Mercy with a 5-1 victory for the Lawn Ornaments on process. EVL Gaming faced off against Froyotech for the first time this season on Sunshine. After an almost hour-long match, EVL emerged victorious 5-2. With Froyotech's loss, No Mercy are now the only undefeated squad in Invite. Faint Gaming are in second at 3-1, but both EVL and Froyo have only played three matches, so they are tied for third. Hibbleton are 2-2 right in the middle of the division. Legalize Ranch and Meat Market are tied for sixth, with Fable Esports and Lunatech both searching for a win at the bottom. Over in ETF2L, Arctic Foxes and Low Pander traded maps in their Week 3 meeting. Arctic Foxes took Reckoner 3-0 and Lopander won Gullywash 3-2. Lopander continued with an affinity for 3-0 victories as they swept the absolute nuts with the same score on Gullywash and Product. Seven dispatched LEGO by win difference on both maps, 6-1 on Gully and 3-0 on Product. Unlike their soft serve rivals, Seven have managed to hold on to their position at the top of the Premiership tables. LEGO are in second, followed by Lopander and Unexpected. Arctic Foxes are 3-3 in 5th, but have yet to play as many matches as the surrounding teams. Nerd Rage, Antic, and the Absolute Nuts are holding down places 6 through 8. Our Oz Fortress game this week was played out between Xeno and Naturewalk. Naturewalk won both maps, Snakewater 4-1 and Product 3-2. Jasmine T have pulled into 1st in the Oz Fortress standings. 
They are followed by No Safe Word, who are also undefeated. Damage Incorporated are in third, followed by Right Wing Death Squad to round out the top four. Nature Walk, Xeno, Jermaine, and Dog the Boys fill out the rest of the division in that order. That's all the information we've got for you this week, so now you can sit back, relax, and watch some spectacular frags. This isn't looking great for Xeno, no, only one scout in the demo, and he does get a spawn, but Kura's gonna get cleaned up on cliffside. Spam, spam it back into spawn, MG gets probably gonna get cleaned up here, as he does try and get in to help his teammates, but it does seem to be a bit late. No, they don't kill him, but they need to push pretty soon. Even Uberad, they just need to win this dry push, and whoever wins this next push pretty Dubious? much the round. Dubious? Uh... Dubious runs out of ammo and gets cleaned up, I guess. Oh, we need to try to get there. And it looks like they're actually gonna go through Cafe. And, uh, so far so good, though. We'll see what happens here. Ranga's jumping right on it. Cookie's gonna drop! So there we go, Ranga makes the big play. Actually shoot from any of these locations. Marm is really deep in the flank now, though. And that may be just what the doctor ordered. And there it goes! Headshot on the May! So, easy Threw easy. another person's body. Yeah, threw another person. This is Classic. their choice. This is their choice, Spy and Sniper, to break this forward hold. They're just going to rush the players on the right, but it's costly as funds falls. Hildreth does get a nice pipe onto the following demo man, but Mookie going to get wow. the stab, and they've just pulled so many facts this way, and Mookie oh my God. has forced off the Uber from Corndog, and he's just alone, he's frolicking. This is an amazing so play from bad. Mookie. Such a creative play to break that forward hold, and he takes him down eventually. <laughs> what a play from Mookie in the end there. That is so bad. Uh, although they didn't get the, the mag on that one. I go, please don't actually do this, I don't want to eat my shoe. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. Actually, they're going to make it out on the right side here with the pyro leading the way, just air blasting everything back, uh, and then Stark will go back and, and switch to scout. So, so they're taking their time, and now it looks like it's going to be... Uh, no bomb? What? 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 Oh, that's fucking destroyed, Domo! Jesus Christ, that's why I should never go for that shit, Jesus! Unfortunately, we haven't gotten any information from NA teams regarding their attendance at the quickly approaching I-61. We'll let you know as soon as we know, so until then, sit tight and try to farm up some face-it points or work on a jungle submission for the new update. Don't worry about missing anything, because even if you do, we'll have you covered here at Backcap.